doing many things. Yeah. I went back to university and um, um, from the from first of, of July I was back at the university. Uh, but in the meantime, I've uh, had several requests from various uh, governments within Africa um, asking for various types of help. Uh, so I've been to I've been to Botswana on my way to Rwanda. I was in Ethiopia. Um, so there's some work that I'll be doing. Um, like consultants besides uh, teaching and uh, I think I would accept or have uh, accepted uh, one global uh, chair to chair um, an organization that is global and uh, I continue to help uh, the UN uh, with um, global digitization of payments this I was aboard when I, I was in the boat when I was at PS, but um, they decided to retain me, so I would continue to do that. So I've got a lot uh, uh, that I'm doing at the moment. At the same time, I have enough time to play my tennis for two hours every day. I'm at the University of Nairobi. That's a business school. There are some two new policies that the, the President Kenyatta has brought. One is computers. This is the most important policy initiative that would see this country become the real hub of IT. Because when you see that there's a, a million kids who go to, to primary school, um, the success we are looking at is 10% of them becoming computer literate. That's 100,000. And if that 100,000 ends up being in the IT sector, 10% of that, that is 10,000. That is massive capacity that we need to develop this country. And it would propel this country. Out of the 10,000, you actually need two or three to come up with a new innovation. And Kenya becomes a global hub for IT. That's one. And the other point, the other policy initiative that I would hope Kenyans would embrace is the, um, the, the intra-Africa uh, trade uh, very key for us uh, to move forward and we need to take it very seriously because growth is in Africa. Everybody is moving out of Europe to come to Africa and do this. Um, the most disappointing thing over the past few years, few, a few months that I've been out, is the, uh, that we are so divided so divided along the voting patterns that we had in uh, 20 in March. Uh, actually, we need to forget about that. What most countries do in the U.S., nobody has heard of Romney because once he lost, he knew uh, that the, the the party itself would eventually come up with a new candidate and uh, and move the country forward. This is how we must begin to behave, that uh, after the elections, we move towards the economy, develop the economy, create jobs for the youth, and wait for the next election. But what we are seeing now, uh, it's so unfortunate that uh, the campaigns continue even after the elections. So we must get to a point where we accept the defeat, uh, especially when the math has gone through the courts and, um, and determined. Uh, so it's so unfortunate that you can't even make a comment uh, on policy because people say, oh, you are aligned to this, you are aligned to that. At the moment, we shouldn't be talking about alignment, but we should be talking about supporting the government and waiting for the next general election to see who, who wins from there. We have done wonderful infrastructure over the past few years. Um, we have not done content, um, and I would say content 100 times, uh, because um, we need to preserve our own culture, ourselves. Uh, we must get out there to touch our hands to make our content. We can't be borrowing content. 
uh, we must develop local content. Um, that is for our future. Um, if we are talking about the posterity, uh, it's us who can do it, so that our children and the great grandchildren would say that there were forefathers who did this for us. Um, that is what we have done wrong. Uh, with respect to innovation, Kenya continues to do very well uh, with the several hubs that we have. Um, uh, we are seeing uh, new blood, uh, new kids, and this is because we have access uh, to infrastructure. So I think we have done well. Uh, we need to do better than we have done and create opportunities for others to get employment. Yeah, yeah. We have sufficient capacity to sustain uh, um, this country as a hub. Um, a lot of work has been done. You realize before we left office, uh, the broadband strategy had gone through, the master plan had gone through. Uh, so I think, and we have a very good, uh, um, very good civil society, which would push the government to, 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 to sustain the momentum that we've had over the past few years. I think we need to, 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 to ensure the partnerships that we created um, under the PPP model, um, partnerships like IBM, where we uh, eventually would share IP, uh, the partnerships that we, we, we were developing, especially in building of CONSA. Um, these are the areas that are key to creating this country as a regional hub because it is so critical that we make sure we create the incubator uh, that we are looking at in, uh, in CONSA. We develop the ecosystem that we wanted to build in CONSA. Uh, because CONSA was not just um, real estate, it was an ecosystem that we are building. And uh, I want them to bear in mind this and uh, maintain it. Uh, this is my prayer. Um, they could choose to do something different.